This week with the Dust Bowl Catholic, our subject is not a place or a thing, it is a person, and a person that few know anything about here in Oklahoma, even though one of the biggest Catholic schools in the state bears his name. Who could he be? In Oklahoma, we are all familiar with Bishop McGinnis Catholic High School, but the man the school is named after largely remains a mystery to most locals. While the historical record and inventory of photographs is sparse for the subject, our story begins in Hellertown, Pennsylvania, where Eugene Joseph McGinnis was born to Daniel and Mary McGinnis on September 6, 1889. As a young man, McGinnis went to school at Holy Infancy Parochial School. Proving a gifted student and called to the priesthood, he attended nearby Charles Borromeo Seminary in Overbrook, Pennsylvania, and went on to earn two doctorates, one in the laws and the other in sacred theology, from the Pontifical and Royal University of Santo Tomas in Manila, the Philippines. On May 22, 1915, the Reverend Father Eugene McGinnis was ordained to the priesthood by Archbishop Edmund Francis Prendergast for the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. McGinnis' early priesthood was filled with parish assignments around the Philadelphia area. He served as curate to St. Paul's, St. Agatha's, St. John's, and finally at the Cathedral, now Basilica, of Saints Peter and Paul. In 1917, Father McGinnis' life turned toward the mission field, a course from which he seemingly would never leave. Starting as the assistant director of the Society for the Propagation of the Faith, McGinnis worked tirelessly to raise funds and help in the administration of rural, underserved areas throughout the U.S. This led, in 1919, to him becoming first the field secretary, then vice president, of the Catholic Church Extension Society with its founder and his future predecessor, Father Francis Kelly. Together they worked to promote the mission of the Catholic Church in rural and mission areas of the United States. In 1923, Father McGinnis became the Executive Secretary of the American Board of Catholic Missions, a committee that still exists today within the U.S. Council of Catholic Bishops. For his indefatigable work in the missions field, Father McGinnis became Monsignor McGinnis in 1929. On October 13, 1937, Monsignor McGinnis was appointed Bishop of Raleigh, North Carolina, and was consecrated the following December 21. Having been formed only 13 years before, the diocese covered the entire state of North Carolina and served approximately 6,000 Catholics. No stranger to the underserved and underrepresented Bishop McGinnis immediately engaged in securing financial and human resources, ordaining 30 priests during his episcopate. A tale from his time there is key to understanding the man. In 1939, understanding the precarious situation of Catholic African Americans in North Carolina, first being black in the south of the 1930s, and second being a Catholic in a state where an active KKK organization existed. Bishop McGinnis gave special permission to allow Catholic African Americans in Fayetteville, North Carolina to hear Mass in a local barber shop. By December 22, 1940, the bishop dedicated St. Anne's Catholic Church, which is still active today. Their heritage in the barber shop is commemorated in one of their windows. In 1944, after being a bishop for seven years and showing exceeding obedience and zeal for mission dioceses, Bishop McGinnis accepted an assignment to the Diocese of Oklahoma City and Tulsa to be co-adjutor under his old Extension Society friend and now Bishop Francis Kelly, who had suffered a heart attack. As the de facto bishop, McGinnis oversaw the administration of the diocese until Kelly's death in 1948. After assuming the cathedra, Bishop McGinnis forged ahead with serving the underrepresented Catholics in Oklahoma and battling rampant Ku Klux Klan pressures across the state. A testament to this is another St. Anne's Catholic Church, 
this one in Broken Arrow near Tulsa. Having moved first from Kiefer and then Jinx to its present location in Broken Arrow, with the aid of Kelly and McGinnis's Catholic Extension Society, the blatant bigotry of the Arrow was summed up in a quote from one of the Felician sisters who taught in the school. The beginnings were very difficult because Broken Arrow was the center of the fanatical KKK. Publicly, no Catholic was known or tolerated. A newspaper clipping from nearby Tahlequah, Oklahoma lauds the KKK as the beginning of the end of crime and lawlessness. Understanding the situation, McGinnis saw an opportunity when he learned of a group of Capuchins who were unable to return to their native Poland due to communist control after World War II. In 1948, he invited the group to take over the mission church in Broken Arrow and turn it into a permanent parish. Having survived the Dachau concentration camp, and being used to making do with very little, the Capuchin fathers cleaned, built, raised funds, and did it all over again for the next 47 years, creating one of the largest parishes in what is now the Diocese of Tulsa in eastern Oklahoma. In 1950, Bishop McGinnis, seeing the financial strain on his parishes, closed all the Catholic high schools in the Oklahoma City area except for Mount St. Mary's and founded Central Catholic High School at the intersection of 50th and Western in what was then Northern Oklahoma City and funded it through the diocese. By 1957, the bishop's frantic pace had taken a toll and on December 27th, he suffered a major heart attack and died at the age of 68. In his time as coadjutor and then Bishop of Oklahoma and Tulsa, he was responsible for building 102 new churches, 70 rectories, 48 schools, 38 convents, 12 parish halls, 6 hospitals, and 4 hospital additions, along with countless conversions, confirmations, and ordinations, truly living out the motto on his coat of arms, All Things to All People. In 1959, the students of Central Catholic High School voted to change their name to Bishop McGinnis Catholic High School, making his mark on the state permanent. The next time you drive by McGinnis, or walk into your church that was built during his episcopate, send up an ave for the good Bishop Eugene J. McGinnis. Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see another one from us, try looking right about here. Also, if you'd like to check us out on Facebook or Instagram, our information's right there. And if you really want to see what you can find out from us, look right over here. Have a good one.